Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everyone in those categories and outside those categories. Happy weekend. I'm really proud of you if you are doing it on the weekend. I'm also really proud of you if you are wisely taking some rest days. And remember, of course, that if you don't like the look of a particular workout, we've now got enough that you could go back and repeat one that suits you a little bit better. I do challenge you to try them all, but if you don't have the energy or the equipment, you can do a different one. No excuses. And I want to dedicate this workout to Cynthia. She's a wonderful member of the Fit family here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And Cynthia gave me a nice compliment before I even started all of this and suggested I might be a good candidate to lead people in fitness. So she foresaw something in me that I didn't even know I had till I decided to launch this. So here we go with Lauren's eight minute abs, hashtag Lauren's eight minute abs. You can also catch the workouts on my Instagram at the Golden Graham Girl. So we're doing four and they're actually all standing, which is gonna be fun and I will demo them first. First, we're gonna do a standing um, standard crunch. So one knee at a time. And then we're gonna do a standing oblique crunch. Then we're gonna do a standing side slide. That's what I'm calling it. I will demo it shortly. And then we're gonna finish with in and out jump squats, which I've also heard called the new jumping jack. So I'm sure you're already looking forward to that. Let go of any mental associations that you might have about jump squats. I promise it's gonna be great. So let me demo before we get into it. First exercise, standing standard crunch. So you're gonna raise your hands overhead. You can also hold a Swiss ball if you have one. You can hold a medicine ball or a light dumbbell. So I'll demo those as we go through, but I'm gonna start with no weight. And all you're doing is really drawing your knee up and pulling those hands down. So the focus, similar to a plank, is actually drawing the rib cage towards the top of the pelvis. So you're crunching, but you're standing up. And we're just gonna be alternating for 30 seconds. If you're not doing it for time, you're gonna do a total of 30 reps. 15 per side. Exercise two, the standing oblique crunch. Very similar, except we're gonna draw our knee up to the side and the hands are gonna meet it on the side. Crunch, crunch, crunch. So again, really focusing in on the side, like our oblique crunch is on the ball or the floor. Third exercise, um, ideally you'll have a weight. It can be a dumbbell or a plate if you have one. You're gonna hold it in one hand and you're just gonna slide the weight down your side so you're getting a stretch in the opposite side and you're contracting right here to pull it up. So slide it down, contract it up. Slide it down, contract it up. The halfway mark we're gonna switch. You're likely gonna be doing probably six reps per side, so 12 in total. And to revisit exercise two, that's also 30 reps in total, 15 per side, same as the first exercise. This is number three. Number four, in and out jump squats. Now, what's nice about these is the pace is a little bit slower than a normal jump squat. So you're gonna jump out wide, coming deep. So you can see I've got my thighs almost parallel to the floor. And then you're gonna squeeze the booty and the inner thighs as you stand up and really feel that burn. You should actually even feel it wrapping around the side of your glutes. And then you're gonna jump narrow and come down and squeeze it up. So it's wide, squeeze, narrow, squeeze. So we're gonna call one rep a wide and a narrow. And I would suggest that if you got 10 of those, that would be good pacing. All right, let's get into it for time. So here we go. This time I'm gonna demo exercises with the Swiss ball. We're gonna start in three, two, one. Here we go. Standing standard crunch, squeeze. Exhale. And getting ready to go into the standing oblique march. Here we go. So now that knee's coming out wide. 30 seconds of this. If you're not doing it for time, you're doing 30 reps in total, 15 per side. Really focusing every time that ball or your hands comes down to meet the knee. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Exhale. Next up we have the sliding weight. 
one's a little slower, a little more controlled. Getting ready to switch sides. Option could be, because we have three rounds, that you switch in one of the rounds, and then the other two rounds we can do all on one side and all on the other. We're gonna finish up with those in and out jump squats. Okay, here we go. Jump it wide, squeeze it up. Jump it narrow, squeeze it up. Jump it wide, squeeze it up. Jump it narrow, squeeze it up. If the jumping's too much, step wide, squeeze. Step narrow, squat, squeeze. Step wide, squat, squeeze. Step narrow, squat, squeeze. Squeeze. And squeeze. That's it. One round's done. Awesome. I have to be so far away to fit myself in the frame. Whew, here I am. Half naked again. But uh, you know what's funny? I watched the video playback of the last time I did it. And I wasn't as critical of myself as I expected to be. So I encourage you to be positive and accepting of your bodies as well. And don't tell me, oh, it's easy for you, Lauren, because you look a certain way. That's not true. We've got 30 seconds left and this is important. Um, everyone knows someone who's very slender and fit and struggles more with body image issues than someone else that you know who has a curvier or larger body. And that's all up here. It actually has nothing to do with this. That's how you see it in your mind. We've got 10 seconds left on our minute break. Let's get back into our standing crunch. In five, and I'll do this one with a med ball. Here we go, crunch. So 30 seconds or 30 reps in total, 15 per side. Don't make this just a march where you're not giving it all your energy. Every time, picture those abdominal fibers contracting inside the muscles. We're gonna get ready to switch Woo, to the side. Feel a little shoulder burn if you do this with weights as well. I certainly am. If you didn't notice, my watch beeps for 10 seconds. So when it stops beeping, I know there's only 20 seconds left. Hallelujah. Again, don't just march here. Not just going through the motions. Squeeze, squeeze. There you go. Get the deep instructor voice. Okay, sliding. Now, just like I said, I wanna do this all on this side. And on the last round, I'll do it all on the other side. You feel free to switch in the middle or after six reps. It's up to you. Six reps if you're doing it for time, that is. 15 seconds otherwise. And we got our big jump squats coming. Okay, here we go. Jump it wide. Jump it narrow. Wide and squeeze. Narrow and squeeze. Wide and squeeze. Narrow and squeeze. Challenge yourself to go deep, but you don't want your knees to hurt. Like I said, if this is too much, you can just step it out and step it in. And that's it. Whew. Two rounds. We're just flying through this. Whew. Okay. So, if you haven't seen it, I'm very excited to share that I do have my eight minute meals ready to go done a little intro about what I envision for it for now and I've also filmed my first recipe spoiler alert it's pancakes protein pancakes so you can look forward to that too we'll have hashtag Lauren's eight minute meals as well okay 30 seconds left we're almost done and you can hear I'm panting and breathing hard so this this one definitely has a little bit more of a, a cardio element to it which I'm sure you all love. You all love hit and shred, and a great new way to work our body. We're gonna start again in about seven seconds. Last round. You know what? I'll just demo this. No weights at all. Here we go. 
and you can make it just as hard through your focus. Draw the rib cage to the pelvis. Thirty seconds or thirty reps, fifteen per side. Next up, we're going to have those oblique marches. This really reminds me actually of some aerobics classes circa the early 1990s. Anybody else do those? Feel free to let me know in the comments. All right, five seconds left for you in the last slide. Make sure you switch sides. If you're only doing one side at a time, if you're not doing it for 30 seconds, you've got 12 reps in total, or six per side. Of course, you could break that up. You could do one round where you do six and six. The next round would be 12 all on one side, and the last round would be 12 all on the other side. Now, only one exercise left after this. Last round of in and out jump squats. So again, you can really challenge yourself. Here we go. Wide. Squeeze. Now picture those inner thighs and booties getting firmer. Here we go. Squeeze. In. And squeeze. Out. Try not to let the chest come forward as you get tired. You're going to keep the chest up. Chin level. So don't put your phone on the floor to watch me do this, if at all possible. to getting into the next week with you. And think about it, if we've done five workouts and the goal is only five per week for a month, we're actually a quarter of the way through. It's phenomenal. You just do that once more and you'll be halfway through. Have a fit day.